and the black rings coming to life, worsening the contamination inside you. But don't worry now. Just rest for a bit. Got the white cube. Hang on to it. It'll help you feel better. haven't you? You know Chief's location now, don't you? Then, quick, let's go back. I need to... <laughs> Don't overthink it. It's just the black ring messing with your mind. No one gave me that kind of order. I choose to do this. Please stop. My only concern is cheap. Just following orders. That's not your job. Don't do this for me. I don't get it. And I don't need to. I can't take it anymore. Put me down. You can move faster alone. Hurry, go! Akate. You haven't done anything wrong. Ever since I led you into this maze, I made a promise to get you out alive. All of this, it's for me. Really. I wanted to bring you back with me. To make amends for my past regrets. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of repeating my old mistakes. This was all my choice. You've done nothing wrong. You've always stuck to your goals. Fighting and not giving up. Even when you were battered and scarred. If I were you, I'd be proud of myself. <laughs> the real cowards are those who flee from their own fights. The worst kind of mistakes are those you can't confess, have no one to apologize to, and can never make up for. On your journey, there's still a lot you can accomplish. Stop talking like that. It's beyond me. And I don't need it. I'm 
leaving now. You stay here for a while. Take a moment to calm yourself and look for the right moment to make your move. The exit is close by. Be extra careful when you are on your own. Make it out alive and return safely to the ones who matter the most to you. Bravely fought to the end, never fleeing. She died a hero, a hero of death. So you ran back here. You survived just to break the news of my daughter's death. <sighs> it's fine. This was long overdue. I should have died. Nine years ago. It's terrifying. This place, it's terrifying. <laughs> Did we end up like this? I thought we had won the negotiations. Didn't we secure our minds? Weren't we full of hope? Why was everyone dead? Why are they all monsters now? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Nobody saw this coming. No one thought they would die here. If we had any idea about this. Shut up. I need to stop being a coward. No more regrets. This is the last chance. It's terrifying. We're just normal people, not sinners. Not powerful. Not brave. I'm sorry, but I don't want to die. I need to go back. I need to see her again. I don't want to die here. Please, hero, save me! I've got this. You're not going to die on my watch. Enough with the guilt. You went in the mine because you trusted me. And I definitely can't disappoint you now. I'll get us back. All of us. I promise to bring every single one of us back safely. If it hadn't been for people like me, he wouldn't have ended up. No! No! <laughs> Please, no more of this. Stop being so nice to me. I'm here to finish the job. That's it. I... I'm too weak. I failed to even keep Chief safe. So don't make me care about anyone else. It's disgraceful, yet here I am, still clinging to life. Ugh. 
Good heavens, what on earth happened to you two? Oh, didn't I tell you not to push yourself? Hey, FAC bro! Over here! Over here! Quick, get these two back to safety, please. I owe you like ten huge favors. That just now... Was that your power? <sighs> I was right. You're a sinner. An incredibly strong one at that. Donald, you must be able to do anything. <sighs> Deliver this... to Chief. Save him. I'm just not fast enough, not strong enough, the things I can't manage, I'm begging you, please take over. I was this close to saying yes, I'm really sorry Hikate. I'd love to be the hero here, but I just can't pull it off this time. We've got something on our tail and if I don't hold the fort, nobody's getting out of here. That's why I'm counting on you this time. The rescue of Chief is in your hands. You've got to find the person who's most important to you. I can't say much here, but I hope that shackle leads you where you need to go. Stop selling yourself short and forget about needing someone stronger. You're strong in your own right. And there's plenty out there ready to back you up. You've never been the underdog. Go and chase down your dreams by any means necessary. It's up to you now. In return, I'll block all the tailgaters here, making sure you've got a clear run. We're heading out, back to the defense line. Remember our deal. You will come back. And don't forget to bring Chief along. I've got this. You're not going to die on my watch. I'll get us back. All of us. I promise to bring every single one of us back safely. Go. You've done this too many times. Your body can't take it anymore. No. I have to go. I led them here. It's on me to bring them back. This is the man. According to our observation, he's the most powerful sinner among the rebel group and the focal point of their spirit. Without his influence, the rebel group in the mines started to waver, shaking the foundations of Rustfire. Spot on analysis, X. 
Nirvana's got a serious grudge against him. Can't wait to see him gone. But you, you've got a different take, right? Let's hear your thoughts. Nirvana's approach is way too rough around the edges, making the city-state pay a hefty, unnecessary price. If possible, I'd like to optimize the plan. Since this man is their leader, perhaps I could make use of him. That would reduce some cost. What's the latest with Rustfire? Really rough, I guess. <sighs> Look, Samuel. I can no longer do anything for the crew. There's this woman from Paradesos. Slapped a mark on me. Goes like this. The more I despise her, the more I fight back, the more strength I use. The tighter her strings pull on me. <laughs> uh, sounds like a bad joke, huh? But it's no joke. I can't stand up to her. She told me to turn on Rustfire, and I just followed suit. I once thought I was unbeatable. Now I'm too chicken to even try my powers. <sighs> Sorry, Samuel. I'm no hero for Rustfire anymore. Stop selling yourself short, and forget about needing someone stronger. You're strong in your own right, and there's plenty out there ready to back you up. You've never been the underdog. Go, and chase down your dreams by any means necessary. It's up to you now. In return, I'll block all the tailgaters here, making sure you've got a clear run. Give in. Let me be your voice. I will take control. That's the power of the mark. I can free your friends. Shut it. I don't care what you're after, just don't bother me now. Because you're not real! I've embraced the madness! You think this scares me? Show yourself, old pal. Nine years apart. You couldn't have forgotten me, right? I've seen such force. So powerful. Capable of wonders, and yet you choose 
restraint. Back then, in the mine, you were the strongest sinner. The beacon of hope for all. If only it had been you who became Corpse Boy, we would never have been beaten by that woman. Yet, you chose to be with those cowards, leaving and escaping again and again. Look at yourselves now, from once being so bold and spirited to this sorry state. You've worn yourself down for the sake of the weak. If you're that worried about me, then just focus your power on me. I'm still in the midst of my tug of war game. Let's catch up a bit. Weak? What's the real meaning of weakness? Is a number illiterate leader weak? Is a hot-headed vandal who only knows how to wreak havoc weak? Or you? who have been sneaking and quaking in the shadows for nine long years. Are you weak? Is there such a thing as absolute strength? Being weak isn't a crime. It's the world that crushes the weak that's truly monstrous. What gives you the right to judge who gets to live? And another thing, don't you ever speak to me with that face! Despicable monster, how dare you!